wake up, there you go. Yesterday, we started with Dodomon. Dodomon's first baby form. And then they digivolved into... Do... Rudomon? Dodo? Dodomon with legs. Like, seriously, look it up. And then finally, Dodomon. The jeweled furred dragon themselves. And I could not be happier with the way they look. I'm almost sad that they might digivolve and not be this way anymore. They're so cute. They're just perfectly proportioned. How are they not the perfect rookie Digimon? I mean, really. <laughs> Although, meanwhile, uh, Agumon's over here, and we've got them on a strict regimen of not getting good care. Wait, how did you get Tukin Ryoku? Who played with you a second time? So unfortunately, already with their Dorioku up like this, we're not going to get, like, the worst Digimon, which I guess I shouldn't say unfortunately, that's just, you know. It's been hard. It's hard for me to treat poor Agumon like this. Like, he's... He's so sad. But I've managed. I, I have managed. I didn't put a blanket on them last night. I only put a blanket on Dodumon. And if you'll see here, they have a, a healthy rivalry regrowing. It was so sad because I fed Dodumon just by himself and Agumon had no hunger filled at all. Like just no Onaka at all. And I was feeding Dodumon and Agumon actually like showed up on screen for a second. And I was, you know, just doing the mashing the C button to, to skip through the animation. I missed what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was Agumon just being like, uh, are you hungry too? Maybe I, maybe Agumon eats. I'm sorry. We gotta get the lower level. We can't have you turning into Greymon again, buddy. It's just not, it's not okay. All right, I need you to, I need you to turn into whatever the next thing is. So apparently I need to get three care mistakes or more, or I need to overfeed them three times, or I need to have their training or their uh, one, two, three, their Dodioku not be over 16. So each one heart counts as four. So I believe it's basically just like, don't train them up all the way. So we still might get the lowest of the low. The only thing we would need to get to ultimate form after champion form is either training or a number of battles. I think Mega is the one that uses just a number of battles and no care mistakes, but yeah. So once they change, no, even if that is your poop, we're just gonna pretend it's Dodemon because I need you to know that I don't care about you. I can't even say that without feeling like the lowest person in the world. How are you doing though? Yeah, your life is just peachy. Your Tidyoku is all empty. We've done all your training and battles for the day. You are going to be a peak Dodumon. You will change into your final form. We've not made a single care mistake with Dodumon. Because when we first got here, I said that I had accidentally made a couple care mistakes because with just all the hecticness that was happening with my girlfriend and her injury and stuff. But we're back on track. Tenley, my girlfriend, is doing better. Uh, so, you know, more time to dedicate to the babies. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me you had so many poops? I still want to know why these Digimon just don't make sounds when they poop. They poop so much. I guess when you poop that much, you have lots of practice to make a quiet poop. I mean, believe me, I identify. So yesterday I did say that I was going to go through my garage, or my grandma's garage, go through my stuff that I'd left out there and see if I could find any cool things that we could, you know, could be relevant to, to this, to us, to this thing we do. And I actually did find <laughs> A baby T-Rex Gigapet. Tiger Electronics, you know? Let me see if I can get a better focus on this. The Lost World Jurassic Park. It's an officially licensed device. We have to run this. It takes two LR44s. The screw looks a little stripped, but not so stripped that if we're careful, it won't come off. It'll be fine. I think we can make it work. According to the symbols, there's food, nighttime, chasing a rat, uh, ambulance, a bell, a heart, a dinosaur, and then, you know, there's the, the notice, the, the alert symbol. We gotta run this sometime. I also found myself a Pokemon Pokedex. Now this is a device that I wanted so long when I was younger, and I finally got one like way after they were like in vogue, and uh, which, which kind of sucked, but you know, that was kind of like my kid life, but I was just happy to have it. And uh, if it had batteries, you would turn it on and you would punch in the Pokemon's name, and it would actually give you some stats on them. And I don't think it says that, maybe it says the name? It's got a speaker. It at least goes boop boop. It's in really good condition too. Like I said, I got it like way after it was cool to have it. So I played with it for a while and then I just kind of put it in a box. So it's in fantastic condition. I found some Pokemon figurines. There's a Charizard. I like his design when he's got the big old head. And what? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, yeah, you need help. You need care, huh? Well, I mean, it doesn't count as a care mistake unless I leave you with this call out for 10 minutes. So, I'm sorry. It's breaking my little heart. I'm sorry. I also found some Nintendo 64 games out there, and Tenley is so excited about this one because this is one of her favorite games of all time. I actually did not like Donkey Kong growing up. I don't like his design. I mean, come on. I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to convince you that he's not a good character because I know everyone likes Donkey Kong, but I never played Donkey Kong 64, and she attributes 
my dislike of Donkey Kong to that fact that I've never played this game. She's like, you played Donkey Kong 64, you will love Donkey Kong. So we found this and she just gave me this look like, this is happening. So when I get back to Portland, I'm going to be forced to play this. And finally, the best part. If, if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that a long while ago, I have I'd mentioned here and there that my mom sold all of my Tamagotchi plushies, right? I had only had one, it was the pink, the pink lips. Ahiruguchi, Ahirugachi, whatever they want to call it, I can't remember his name. Anyway, look! Look, it's that Tamagotchi! And it's it's an angel Tamagotchi! And the good boy Tamagotchi! And the alien weird one! And oh, one of my favorite, Takochi! The little, with the periscope? I, I never called them by their Japanese names when I was younger. I gave them their own names. I think this one was named Perry, because it looked like a periscope kind of thing going on. This one was called Pink Lips. And then there's this ball one. I think we just call it Pinky. There's There are others out there, but I, I just only brought these. I need to wash them. They're all kind of like dirty and stuff. I am still missing a couple of my favorites though. My absolute favorite Tamagotchi plush is Maskuchi. The, 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 you know, the white one with the purple little ears on top. It kind of like looks like Mamichi if he got on the wrong side of the tracks, but he is the best Tamagotchi. Maskuchi is the best Tamagotchi and I can't find him. I'm worried. I, I think that might be one of the ones that my mom actually did sell because I went through every single box out there. So we're just going to, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm just going to have to like fight to the death with my mom until she reveals where she sent it. I'm going to have to go on a big old children's movie adventure to find my old Maskuchi plush because when I was a kid, I had two little sisters and we were constantly grounded. I, I was always grounded. So when I wasn't playing Harvest Moon, I was playing with these. We were playing with them and going on adventures. We were using our imagination. And it was so great. It was, it was so great. A dang good time. I mean, maybe not, because it's, I realize it's probably just nostalgia. Like I probably would have just preferred to play Harvest Moon, but hey, imagination's a good thing to use, I think. I don't know. I think old people just like to say that if you don't use it, you're going to be a boring person. But like, come on. Would a boring person own, own the, own these, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put these away now. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all for coming by, checking in on our, our digital friends, and I guess I'll continue to make Agumon not be greatly taken care of. I'm seeing I'm elevating the term there. I'm not going to say neglect because then I will just, I will crumble. And then we're just gonna end up with Greymon. And is that what you want? You want just a boring Greymon? You, you don't. <laughs> oh. 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 I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one!